prices of used diesel vehicles could be cratered by a broad brush regulatory regime that doesn't discriminate between most and least polluting engines. It has been claimed. Nick Molden, chief executive of the testing company Emissions Analytics and one of the harshest critics of diesel at the height of the VW scandal, has come to the defense of the fuel. His company's on-the-road tests have found some of the most modern diesel cars, classed as meeting the 6 euro standard of pumping out no more than 80 mg of NYX pollution per kilometer, achieved far better performances. Some of the latest diesel cars are as good as petrol cars on pollution, said Mr. Molden, whose company has established the EQUA Air Quality Index which gives an independent assessment of how much pollution cars emit. However, with the government considering a tax on diesel vehicles in the budget to help fund its air quality strategy, buyers are shining away from cars powered by the fuel. This has hastened the fall in sales of diesel cars first seen after the VW scandal. Industry data showed in October that the market share for diesel cars plunged 30 pc compared with a year ago, and the industry has complained about the unfair demonization of the fuel. Mr. Molden said, the newest diesel cars, about 5 pc, are well below the 80 mg limit, some close to 60 mg. But from the consumer point of view all diesel is bad because of what they are hearing. It could crater second-hand prices of diesel cars. He called for a shake-up of what he described as a fundamentally wrong strategy by the government towards diesel, the fuel that motorists were previously encouraged to use because it produces less CO2 than petrol. Consumers did not know what they were buying, and it is not their fault, Mr. Molden said. Car companies have invested heavily to make diesel clean and both groups are being punished. Emission analytics research did point out, however, that only the latest diesel engines hit the lowest NOx levels. Mr. Molden said, on average, most diesels are bad, and a lot are terrible when it comes to NOx. Car industry trade body the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders has criticized the government for failing to implement a coherent strategy towards diesel, saying unclear policy has contributed to sales of new cars plunging over the past seven months. An XMMT spokesman added, We need consistency from government to promote the lowest emission vehicles. Inconsistent messages have undermined the new car market with motorists holding on to older polluting diesels instead of buying newer, cleaner, cars.